Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here in Atlantic British. And in this video, what we're going to do is touch base on a diagnostic tool that we carry in our line, the uh, iCarsoft LR2. Now, this is a tool that's come out that's specifically designed to access Land Rover uh, modules and not just your OBD2, but can also get into ABS, your uh, air suspension, if you have the later models that are, are equipped with that. Um, actually a number of modules depending on which vehicle or which Land Rover you're working on. So just to give you basics, we've got this unit plugged in. This is the screen that's going to come up and this is with the ignition key on. You're going to let the vehicle go through its self-test. Most of the newer Land Rovers now go through an initial vehicle self-test. Only takes a few seconds. Uh, we're plugged in and we have power. Now before we get into the modules, I just want to give you an idea of some of the other capabilities of this. If we scroll over to settings, you have an up, down, side to side arrows. We'll hit OK. And with this you can change the language, the unit of measure, and even turn the beeper on and off. So say we go to unit of measure and we hit OK. You can either go to metric or imperial. We can back out of that. As far as language, you can see that actually will translate to a number of different languages so we're going to leave it up in English and we hit escape to back out and we do that again now on the help side this gives you a lot of information first line is going to tell you initially where the location of your diagnostic link connector is located then below it we have the DTC library which you can type in the codes that you're getting and it will give you the definition it'll look that unit up we'll hit escape what it'll also do is explain abbreviations so when you get into some of the live data you're going to see explanations or abbreviations so say we go to ECT we want to find out what that is It'll tell you it's a coolant temperature sensor. It'll tell you how it's normally displayed. Here it'll run from minus 40 to 215 degrees Celsius or minus 40 to 419 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, it'll tell you many of the diesel engines, they don't include this sensor. So again, it gives you good information on what you're looking at. So we'll hit escape and we back out of that. And we'll hit that again. And tool information is simply gonna tell you what version is already, what software you have in here, uh, serial number of the unit, the registration code, which you may need later on if you're going to do uh, updates, which you can do on these without having to send them in. So we'll hit escape on that again. And then here they just have a little segment that kind of explains what OBD2 is, what the different modes are in the vehicle coverage. Um, you can read through it if you want. Basically, if you're plugged into the vehicle, you have OBD2 and the rest of it is pretty obvious. So let's back out. We'll scroll back over to diagnosis. We'll hit OK. So you can see that the unit not only will do just generic OBD2 readings, but it can also access Jaguar and Land Rover. So we're in a Land Rover. This will tell you some of the items that it'll do. For the area that just says Land Rover, we're going to continue on. We can, we can hit okay on that and what that'll do is put us into the diagnostic mode but this tells you some of the additional functions like oil lamp reset uh, some of the brake uh, some of the vehicles require a brake reset steering angle reset which is very helpful and DPF reset so we're just gonna hit okay Land Rover we're just gonna go with this is basically the version we're gonna go with the latest version now key is on at this point you can see your choices here. We're in a Range Rover full size, so we'll click on that. This is a 2004, so we'll scroll down to 02 to 05. Hit OK. Definitely not a diesel. This has got the 4.4 BMW petrol engine in it. And we'll let it go through. What it's doing right now is connecting itself to the system. Now, this is a diagnosis mode. It says automatic or manual. If you click on automatic, what it'll simply do is scroll through all the available modules that are on the network on this. And we'll let it connect. Now, this is telling you, this is one of 31. So we have 31 modules that this has the capability of reading. 
and right now it's getting into and trying to connect to the different modules in the vehicle. Now it's just going to go through all of them. Now 31 is a pretty uh, considerable amount of miles, and you can see as it's running through, you can read them very quickly as far as which ones are uh, available. Now you'll see that one had said, said fuel burning. You're not going to see that in any of the U.S. models, but because it's uh, shown in the system, it'll pop up, but you don't need to read that. You can see headlights, multifunction, video module. Now you may see names of modules that come up that the vehicle's not equipped with, but it's only because it's been processed into the software because other vehicles, possibly rest of world vehicles, are going to have them. So we're almost there. We're on module 27. This sort of gives you the idea of the complexity of the system in these, and that's why these diagnostic tools are basically a necessity these days. Very hard to diagnose them without the proper tool. Now the telephone module is also your Bluetooth. So now it's gathered all the information, and now you can scroll down, you can get on each any one individually, first being automatic automatic transmission. Here we have body control unit. So say we want to look at ABS. And what this tells us is that we can look at what version is in there. We can read any of the uh, diagnostic trouble codes, you can clear the codes, and then data streams is actually live data so you can either just click on all the data stream of the page just hit OK and this will come up then now you can start the vehicle you'll see engine speed you can drive the vehicle it'll tell you front wheel speed uh, both right and left so you can do comparisons if you need to move on and get some other data you can just continue on and scroll this will now give you the rears and your ABS pressure, lateral acceleration, there is a ton of information in here. Now you'll see in the bottom left hand corner, like on this case, you have number 7 through 9 of 32 functions you can view on that particular module. So we've already seen that, we're going to back out of that, Let's hit escape, clear all that out, let's see, let's back up. And we'll hit escape. And we'll back out of that. So now we can go somewhere else. We can look at air suspension. Let's hit OK. And again, it'll tell you what version you have in there. Be able to read any, any diagnostic fault codes, clear the codes, and again, data streams. And if you want to get an idea of what this will look at, you have 47 different functions that you can view on the ape on the air suspension to see if everything is working properly so this kind of gives you an idea of what this will give you now if you go back and look now that's uh, the same thing on the lower left hand corner this is telling you that you have 22 different modules that you can get into do a diagnostic process on this would be number five we scroll down instrument pack number six heating and ventilation uh basically and then run on down the line so when you just get to the one that you're looking for, let's look at transfer box again, we'll look at OK. And essentially this is going to give you versions. We'll scroll down to data stream. And basically on just on the, that particular transfer case is four different functions you can view. So this gives you an idea essentially of what this is capable of doing. This does not do any programming, but it will help you keep you from chasing your tail trying to figure out what's going on with your Land Rover without having to spend a lot of money on parts that maybe you don't really need. This tool will at least help you kind of work your way in and pinpoint what the problem is or at least give you the fault codes which based on the technology on today's vehicles you need to otherwise you'll just be chasing your tail trying to figure out what's wrong with them. So when you're in the market for a reader and you'll find that this is very reasonably priced compared to what it will do 
You can give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210 and they'd be happy to set you up with one of these. Thanks for watching.